Hi, I'm Angela. Today I'm going to be making a recipe from Guy Fieri. A couple weeks ago I came across his video where he made this apple pie hot dog and it looked really interesting. It looked really good. I mean, since then, it's been all up in my mind. Really wanted to try and make this. So here I am. Who knew that Guy Fieri would be the one bringing us back together? I have all the ingredients and let's see how this turns out. First, we're gonna start off by making the baking jam. I have four slabs of bacon. I'm just gonna chop up, chop up four bacon into pieces. That actually looks like a lot of bacon, but we'll see. I'm going to heat my pan. So that bacon is getting nice and crispy. There's a lot of fat that rendered. I'm gonna drain this. I'm going to add some apple cider vinegar. Just a splash. I have that on low heat. Some honey. Some brown sugar. I added more honey and I let it slowly reduce. I want to try this. Mmm. That tastes like candy bacon. That's really good. I have everything ready to go, but one thing I forgot to do was the frost, the pie crust. So I don't know about you, but in my store, it was really hard to find pie crust. This I went to three different stores and I finally found this at I found this at Target, but most places will have puff pastry and I originally bought this because I was about to give up. So I'm gonna try both of them. This is the puff pastry, this is the pie crust. Now I just have to let it defrost to continue. This is the pie crust. Put this into rectangles. Got the bacon jam. It kind of hardened a bit since I waited a bit. Let's add that. Got some apple pie filling. Then you add your hot dog. You're gonna get an egg wash and brush it along the edges. I'll have a brush, maybe a spoon. That's how it looks so far. And you're gonna take your other pie crust and try to stretch it a bit. And then you're gonna use a fork to crimp it, the edges. This was actually the puff pastry. This is the pie crust. My bad. So let's do the pie crust version. This one's the puff pastry. This one's the pie crust. This is actually a lot larger than I thought it was, maybe it's my hot dog, I don't know. On top you add some raw sugar. I'm gonna add some egg wash so this sticks better. And some pie spice. Now it's gonna go in the oven for 350 degrees, 18 minutes. While that's baking, let's make the apple pie mustard drizzle and it's 50-50 mustard 
Oh, that doesn't look appetizing, but okay. And then apple pie filling. This does not look good. <laughs> Let me try this. It's actually not that bad. Kind of like honey mustard. You can tell which one's which. Puff pastry, pie crust. It's almost done. Let's see how they look. Oh, yeah. They look pretty good. The hot dogs are sleeping. Now the final touches is the apple pie mustard oh that's not turning out so pretty <laughs> then some crispy bacon mask some of them the steaks and there you have the apple pie hot dog. Ta -da! That looks pretty good. Doesn't that look good? This one is the pie crust apple pie hot dog. This one, a piece already broke off the top rope. It's very crumbly, which is probably a good sign. But look at that. Oh my gosh. It's falling apart. That tastes pretty good. That is really tasty. Mmm. From the hot dog, you have that savory taste, but then everything else is sweet. It really balances each other out. I mean, oh my gosh, it's all falling apart. Mmm, and the pie crust is nice and flaky. With the bacon too. A little bit saltiness. This is really good. Let's try the puff pastry version. Look how nice that raised. This one is actually more put together. <laughs> so with the puff pastry, it tastes more like a croissant. Nice flaky layers. This is really good. <laughs> you know, I've seen a lot of comments on the videos and people like having like a throw up emoji. Candy bacon. I mean, the sweet and savory thing is, is nothing new. You have, you know, there's candy bacon, you know, the cream corn dogs have sugar on it, and that's freaking delicious. I kinda want some. <laughs> oh, got a bit of that bacon jam in the middle. That's Happy dance? <laughs> I don't know what that was. I don't know why, but this reminds me of like fair food. Like, what's at the fair? Like a donut, donut hamburger? They have those. I think they're both equally good. So if you can't find the pie crust, you know, definitely try puff pastry. Obviously different textures. This one has flaky layers. And it's a bit more soft. This one's a bit, the pie crust is more 
crunchy. Is crunchy the word I'm trying to look for? But they're equally, equally good. Very messy. <laughs> good job, guy. Oh, hi, Dobby. This is my cat, Dobby. I got him July of last year. He was just a kitten, but look how big he is. He's a free kitten. Say hi, Dobby. Hi. He hates to be held. Thank you for making an appearance. Mm. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm very rusty because it's been over a year and you know, I haven't been doing this. As often, this took me a lot longer <laughs> to do. But let me know if you try making the apple pie hot dogs. I honestly recommend at least trying it. Definitely all the sweetness overpowers the hot dog. It's more sweet actually than savory. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You can follow and catch up with me on Instagram. My cat Dobby, of course, has his own Instagram. You can follow his journeys. He is quite the character. And definitely, he is a pandemic cat. Um, but I'm glad that I have him with me. He's a sweet, scared, anxious little boy. Has quite of the same qualities as myself. But I hope you guys are doing well. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Want some hot dog? Here you go.